So, um, to use CoinGecko or CoinMarketCap is very, very simple. The first thing you want to do is, whenever we give you a crypto coin to buy, like I said, you have to go and analyze a particular coin, you know. I give you a coin to buy, let's say I give you a coin called Raka to buy. Which exchange will you buy that particular coin? Because it's not all coins that are listed on Binance. We have different exchange where you can buy these coins so where can i find this coin where can i find it okay let's say i give you a coin called raka so let us go to coin gecko i open coin gecko yeah i love using coin gecko by the way and then i search for raka i see that search bar i click it and i search for raka raka yeah, radio kaka. So um this is Raka. Now this is the graph, the chart of Raka. In twenty-four hours, this is what it has done, sixteen percent. In one year, what has it done? How many percent has it done? Oh wow, that is the coin is still very, very good to buy. What has it done in three months? Okay, it's going up. So this is what some of the things that you check. Then you will not check for the exchange where you buy this coin you don't click on these exchanges so are you seeing pancake swap v2 when and anytime you say anything like pancake swap or uni swap or sushi swap just that it's a decentralized exchange you will not buy it in binance it's a decentralized exchange and you have to access it through trust wallet decentralized um, exchange the trading is in your, the course that i gave to you but we'll still talk about it maybe another day okay so you can see that you can also buy on gate.io you can buy on okex you can buy on mex mex is a centralized exchange okex is a centralized exchange gate.io is a centralized exchange now i i explained that there's a difference between centralized and decentralized exchange for a centralized exchange before you buy or trade any call in a centralized exchange you must do what we call your verification with your name, your passport, your this, your photo, and the rest of it. Uh -huh. It's just like a bank. Once you can change your money in a bank, you know that, or buy money, you know that you must open a bank account and you must have verified it with your passport and the rest of it. Verified yourself. Got, got to your BVN and the rest of it. But if, if you want to change that same money in a black market, you don't need all of that, right? Uh -huh. That is same to be centralized and a decentralized exchange. If you want to buy a coin in a centralized exchange, you must have been verified in that exchange. Just like this gate.io now. For you to buy this Raka in Gedo, I must download Gedo. I is an app, it's, a, it's an exchange just like Binance. And uh here -huh. you verify yourself before you start trading there. Same to all the whole centralized exchanges. But for the centralized exchange, you don't need to verify anything. You just go there and buy directly. It's just like the black market, all right? So they say it's on pancake swap. I'm going to show you this. So these are all the exchange where you can find this particular coin. So information about the coin, you click on this place, information. These are all the information, what the coin does and the rest of it. This is the information. So this is uh, all about how to use. Then sometimes I will tell you to buy a particular coin. Let's say a coin like um, Wiki Cats now. And mind you, if you are buying a coin on a decentralized exchange, you must get what we call the contract address. If you want to buy from Binance, like you can just easily go to Binance and just buy the coin. But for a decentralized exchange, you must get what we call the contract address it is that contract address that you will now use to buy on the decentralized exchange so when you are watching the video on trading the decentralized exchange you will understand how to use that contract address but for now let me teach you how to get a contract address of any coin especially if you want to buy that coin from a decentralized exchange so back to raka let's still go back to raka right so this is still Raka. So how do you get the contract address? Just scroll down a bit. You see this contract address. Click on it. 
you see that this particular coin now is built on binance smart chain network is built on the ethereum network and is built on the okx network now for you to trade this coin in the decentralized exchange if you want to use pancake swap to trade that coin for example it's this coin is, is in pancake swap right let's go back to exchange and see now see it's this pancake swap I use pancake swap. The coin you can trade in the pancake swap. When you hear anything pancake swap, just know that it is built on the Binance Smart Chain Network, the BSC network. When you hear anything pancake swap, it is built on the BSC. So in the exchange, you are seeing pancake swap. But let's go back to the contract address. So this is the contract address. I have seen Binance Smart Chain here. So once you copy this thing now, this contract address. You will now use it to go and trade in a decentralized exchange. So once you watch the video in the decentralized exchange, you will understand better. All right. Now for Ethereum, um, if you want to swap coins that are on Ethereum, um, Ethereum, you have to use Ethereum to swap them. So this Binance Smart Chain now that is there, now for you to buy this Waka, Waka coin on Pancake Swap, you must buy that BNB coin or BSC coin. And transfer it to trust wallet and uh, here you will now use because bnb is binance smart chain. bsc is binance smart chain is it's owned by binance you will now transfer the coin from your binance to your trust wallet then use this contract address to buy it because in the decentralized exchange you must swap this coin with something for binance we will buy usdt and use that usdt to buy other coins but for a decentralized exchange, you have to buy the particular coin that that's particular buy the coin that is built on. Remember what I told you about network. Now this worker is built on the Binance Smart Chain network, so you must buy the Binance coin and now use it to swap the coin. So we do coin swapping in a decentralized exchange. So this is just how to copy the contract address. You understand? Now, if you want to use the coin market cap, coin market cap does the same thing. But the reason why I use coin market cap is that I normally see what people have to say about this particular coin. That's basically why I use it. Coin market cap and coin gecko are the same thing. They do almost the same thing. But if you go to coin market cap now and you type racker, you see what people, the communities are saying about the coin, whether it's a good coin or not, whether it's bullish or it's bearish. So I normally used to like. I don't really like using coin market cap when I want to take those kind of information. For example, now you will see Vaca, but that's your Vaca's great potential. I chose to list it during the bullish market, and this year is the right time. Buy after, buy after. So, these are what people are saying about Raka coin, radio Kaka. So, this is why. This is why this is what um this is what it is so this is why i like using coin market cap so you just basically use coin market cap and coin to check about the coin check with the exchange where you can buy that coin if it's in a centralized exchange or a decentralized exchange and how to copy the contract address and then how to check for what people are saying about that particular coin so that's basically what to do with for me how to analyze is what I do with the coin market cap and coin gecko.